Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to talk about the feedback, the Q&A, the, the resurveys, and the developer notes that Marvel Future Fight had provided us with earlier in the year that they have not yet delivered in full on. Now, this is not supposed to be a, a video where I'm attacking them Marvel or I'm, you know, making fun of them or whatever. They have definitely done some of the things that they promised to do based on our voting and in large part they've covered a lot of the characters and uniforms however some things are still missing so i want to cover the things that are done correctly and i want to applaud them for that because you know you have to give praise and credit where credit is due i also want to hold them accountable hopefully and remind you in case you've forgotten and remind myself to be honest of the things that they haven't done yet and then really highlight the things that are most important among the things that have not yet been done because one thing we've come to see the most or one of the one of the most prevalent themes in this game is that once something goes out in the game it's so hard to get the developers to change it they really have a hard time going back and editing their work they're like the, they're those they're like those kids in university or college who write their essay and then never proofread it they're just like okay i wrote it it's done and then just send it out there right so hopefully we can get them to not only maybe speed up some of these things. I don't want the product to come faster if it's going to be bad or unfinished, but you know, just, just hold them accountable. And then also to remind them, hey guys, this is the stuff that's really important. And you can let me know in the comments down below if I'm doing uh, that justice or if I'm missing the mark on some of the things. So this is the Q&A feedback results from July. We're gonna start with this one here because it's very easy to read and it's got a visual representation. So it's just, it's just you know, the simplest one to go through. So these were the top 10 most voted content improvement requests in the game. So these were game modes that you, the community, felt needed to be improved the most. Now, taking a look at the top five here, we have gotten reworks for two, technically, we've gotten reworks for two of these five thus far, from July until now, where we are in the second week of October. So July, August, September. So three months and a bit, where we've had roughly three updates, okay. So we've gotten a rework, a pretty substantial rework and upgrade to Danger Room. And I think they've done a fantastic job with Danger Room. It's very close to being just a, a perfect game mode. Not not perfect, but just like s polished and good. You know, fair rewards, etc. good gameplay, etc. cetera. Uh, and then they made a change to the story mode. They made actually two drastic changes to the story mode where they split up the stories, right? The, the, the regular story, chapters one to eight. Then we've got the Asgardian story. We're gonna get the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. story and the ultimate story. That's fantastic. And then they improved this the, even more by adding the ultimate mode where you have to use tier three and transcended characters, which is awesome to give veteran players something to work towards uh, and something to sort of relish in their roster completion. And then they also improved the story mode rewards by adding the fragments and those chests that you can create uh, with the fragments in order to roll for rare items so that's awesome they did a really really good job in my opinion on number three and number five but number four is nowhere to be seen number one is nowhere to be seen and number two is nowhere to be seen now to be fair to be very fair uh timeline battle and alliance conquest are very difficult to rework because they're pvp game modes and because uh, you have to just be careful with the way that you sort of, you know, you can't you can't rush PvP. You really can't rush PvP. With PvE content, it's different. Um, there's only one side of the table, right? The player is just interacting with an AI. But with uh, PvP game modes, you have to consider that there's two players connecting or there's two players sort of uh, inputting things into uh, the game at the same time or roughly around the same time. So that I can understand. World boss, I think people are just kind of not really all that excited for whatever changes are coming to world boss if the changes coming to world boss are new world bosses including super giant world boss ultimate that's awesome if it's more ticky tacky changes and new resistances and tolerances and awarenesses and whatever scissors i think people are just going to be annoyed uh moving down the list though we see that squad battle has not been touched since the since it came out besides the small buff to the rewards we're still hoping that something happens to it Giant boss raid has not been touched at all. Really sad. We hope something happens there. Dimension missions haven't been touched. Honestly, I don't think they should be voted on at all because they're they're great. I think dimension missions are fantastic as is. This shouldn't even be here, in my opinion. Uh, Shadowland has not been addressed generally. I mean, they added those new they added those new Shadowland stages, but they haven't addressed the rewards issue, which we'll get to later because of the whole thing that they said about like you guys don't know what you really want, which sort of pissed me off and pissed a lot of the player base off. And then Alliance Battle Extreme. This is the really interesting one. 
the fewest people voted for Alliance Battle Extreme, and yet it got one of the largest makeovers out of all of these. So that, to me, indicates that they they are taking what we vote into consideration. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? They're taking what we're what we're voting into consideration, but they're not just handing the game off to us, right? So not many people voted for Alliance Battle Extreme, and yet it got a huge makeover. The rewards didn't get a makeover, and they should have, but they added three months, they added new rules, they added new gameplay elements, and they, they completely made it over visually. So they put a lot of effort and a lot of dev time into this, despite a very low player evaluation of it. So they obviously have their own agenda as well, part of which is making money. So that, that makes sense. Uh, and then we check out over here. This is where it gets interesting. Top 10 new uniform requests. Hulk, he got one. Odin, he got one. Ghost Rider, he got one. Venom, not yet. Thor, not yet. Carnage, not yet. Dormammu, he got one. Hela, Adam Warlock, Daredevil, not yet. But it's very interesting to see that they basically formed three updates out of four characters, right? Hulk was an update to himself. Odin was... He wasn't actually an update, rather. I should say he was just a mid-month. But then Ghost Rider and Dormammu were part of the Damnation update. So they actually formed two updates out of three characters. Uh, and you can see there's a very easy way to form more updates based on the remaining characters. So you could easily come up with an update based on Venom and Carnage to knock them out. Then you can easily come up with another update to knock out Thor, Hela, and Daredevil. You could do sort of a Herald Thor and War of the Realms type thing or something along those lines. Uh, and then Adam Warlock's kind of the odd man out, but still. They have done a very good job, especially of addressing the top three. And you have to understand, you have to not understand, but you have to take into consideration that the number one here, 1280, is like more than double what you get from the last few. Like you can combine these three and it's almost, it's barely more than Hulk. So the popularity does spike a lot at the top. So they did a good job there. Top 10 new character requests. Again, this was three months ago, so we don't necessarily uh, need to see these characters come to the game immediately, but it's just interesting to see that none of these characters have come to the game. So, what you can, you know, you can say different things, but you can say maybe they didn't have any of these characters in the pipeline for the next three updates at least, but somehow they did have four out of the 10 uniforms and three out of 10 game modes, right? Including the one that was least voted on. So, yeah, it's it's weird. You know, you, you have that you have that saying that we caught from the executive where they, they make updates or they, they submit updates six months in advance. Sometimes it feels like that's true. And so you're like, OK, yeah, we're not going to see any of these characters. But then sometimes you're like, huh, that's weird. You guys worked you guys worked this into the game really fast, huh? So it's kind of interesting to me. So, yeah. So now now that we see this. Let's go ahead and look at some other things that they that they dropped in terms of feedback. So this one they posted about a month later. This was, uh, I believe, so July. Oh, not a month later. Four days later. Sorry. July 6th and then July 10th. So now they go into more detail on these game modes, especially the top four that they that they wanted to talk about. So here's here's what they say about timeline battle. I'm not going to go through it all, but I just want to remind them because they haven't done anything for timeline battle. Improve rewards. Avoid lower level agents matched with higher level agents. These two things are really important for the health of Timeline Battle because this one here makes makes it so that newer players feel so crushed and they feel so de-incentivized to play PvP because they queue up with their Tier 2 Sharon Rogers and their Tier 2 Black Widow. Maybe they get a few wins against the AI and then they come up against a Tier 3 Silver Surfer, Tier 3 Jean Grey, Tier 3 Thanos team and they get annihilated and they're like, what? This game's so pay to win or whatever. And it's really not so pay to win, but it, it is really broken when you have characters in bronze who have agent level 200 you have whales that have spent more money than me dunking on new players in bronze and silver because of the way the ranking system works and because of the fact that just by not playing you're deranked you shouldn't be deranked by not playing once you get to vibranium you're obviously good enough to make it all the way to vibranium just stay in vibranium forever even if you're in the bottom you know if, even if you're the hundredth percentile it doesn't matter right so yeah and then improve the rewards. Holy cow, guys. Let me remind you, right? We've been hammering them on social media. Twitter, Facebook, official forums, Instagram. We've been hammering them. YouTube comments. We've been hammering them everywhere about ABX rewards. But they know exactly, they know exactly why we're hammering them about rewards, right? This is July 10th. This is three months ago. Look at this. Improve rewards. Improve rewards. Improve rewards. Improve rewards improve rewards they know they know they just don't want to do it so keep hammering them do not give up don't become apathetic they are going to bend 
and they are going to improve abx rewards and timeline battle rewards and shadowland rewards and alliance conquest rewards and gbr rewards once they improve the rewards of all five of those game modes one more time abx alliance conquest timeline battle gbr and shadowland once they do those five maybe i'll give it a rest hopefully i can give it a rest once they improve rewards for all five of those game modes but like seriously marvel future fight devs look at how well received look at how much praise you're getting for danger room right you guys added a mode that improves uh as you play the game as you get better at the game you get better at danger room extreme you get better rewards and it's fun oh wow that's it's that easy wow progression system and good rewards wow who who thought of that everyone thinks of that we're all saying the same thing it's wild to me that this still has not been done on any level world boss i, I don't know i don't want to say too much about that but then here we go okay alliance conquest yeah we know i mean i hope they improve alliance conquest i want to play alliance conquest personally i really do want to play alliance conquest but then the amount of time invested needs to be way shorter this game already takes too long in my opinion to do all of the dailies every single day um and then of course the rewards in alliance conquest are just like never worth the effort but shadowland this is the one that pisses still pisses a lot of players off and rightfully so rightfully so look at this we have discussed a feature we have also discussed adding a feature to exchange tokens for items as many agents have requested it of course we've re requested it because it's a popular thing to do in mobile games and it works and it's fun and it's and it it just works players like it because you can see very easily and you can quantify okay i do this much work i play this much shadowland i get these many tokens those are my rewards it's very simple it's a very simple transaction but we have decided that acquiring rewards immediately after completing stages will be more helpful to our agents than requiring agents to exchange tokens for items who decided that let me quote escanor who decided that who whoever decided that is wrong and should be put on notice and i don't want to say they should be fired i say that too much but seriously a lot of people don't have jobs right now so if you're not going to take your job seriously whoever this person is that decided this maybe you don't deserve your job because you're clearly not listening to the people that enable you to collect a paycheck if we the players don't play your game guess what happens your game disappears nobody makes mobile games for ghosts so listen to your listen to your fan base who also happen to be your only customers and do what we're asking you literally wrote it many agents have requested what do you mean you have decided is it your game are you the one pumping millions of dollars into this game or are we collectively as players spending five dollars ten dollars a hundred dollars it's us it's not you you i mean the devs whoever whoever decided this it just it really 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 grinds my gears that they actually had the nerve to say that that blows my mind please let us know if agents prefer the store method are you joking of course we prefer the store method all right here's what we're gonna do guys right after they improve abx rewards we're gonna start spamming them with shadowlands shadowland shop maybe we should start now to remind them how we feel and again again if you don't agree with me if you don't want a shadowland shop if you don't want to exchange tokens for items you can completely ignore what i'm saying and you don't have to do anything i'm not i'm not telling you to do anything i'm just putting it out there as an idea if you want right if you think it's if you want to do this if you want to exchange tokens for items hashtag shadowland shop start hammering them with this stuff i'm gonna do it right uh, so yeah so yeah i mean going back to this kind of triggers me on the other hand it's kind of funny to see how things have played out looking forward dormammu ghost rider and other characters who have received many votes will be part of our rework plan yeah no shit. you're giving dormammu and ghost rider a tier three very very funny and then just last thing here in the september uh update uh dev note which wasn't really a dev note it was kind of like an expanded um patch note this was about a month ago they talked about abx and they talked about the new danger room and then they said here we will do our best to introduce the currently under development alliance conquest and world boss reworks as soon as possible so i'm assuming we're going to see one or both of these changes in the next update which should be arriving in about two weeks two or three weeks so yeah get excited for that but also maybe consider saving up more than usual spending less in terms of your resources and your and your money um in case some of these changes are dramatic and I mean, if they're really good changes for example who knows i might start building characters for alliance conquest and not for pve content right 
Uh, and so, yeah, I wanted to bring this up to your attention and I want to bring this topic up again because we have to keep them honest and we have to keep them. Uh, we have to force them to, to keep their promises, right? And not just say things and then not follow through on them. The Marvel Future Fight devs have a track record of throwing out ideas, throwing out promises and then not delivering on them. So they 100 percent have to deliver on these promises, improve rewards. So help me. OK, and uh, yeah, improve rewards and listen to the players. It's really that simple. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of all this. Thank you so much for watching. Hashtag Shadowland Shop, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.